Imagine turning your regular TV into a full-fledged computer without breaking the bank. Sounds like a Sky-Fi movie? Well, not really. Microsoft did that sometime back with Windows 365. But now, Geo's got your back with their latest innovation, the Geo Cloud PC. And I'm not referring to the cloud storage from Geo or the laptop which came out a few months back. This is the real deal. It's a virtual desktop service that transforms your TV into a computer. For now, maybe just TV, but maybe more in future. No hefty hardware investments, no constant upgrades needed, just seamless computing deliver all over cloud. All you need to start is a Geo set-top box, a keyboard and a mouse. Setting it up is an absolute breeze. Power on your TV connected to the Geo set-top box. Head to the app section and click on the Geo Cloud PC icon. Plug in your keyboard and mouse via USB or Bluetooth. Confirm your details like your mobile number, email and boom, you are into the computer ready for action. For the tech nerds, let me cover this first. It's a 4V CPU which refers to virtual machine configuration where the system is emulating 4 virtual center processing units but in reality it's dual core with Intel Xeon A370 with 2.8GHz processor. 8GB RAM, 128GB HDD, uh, accessible space is about 107GB and at some places I did also see a reflection of 76GB so I still need to figure that out. 2.45 GHz internet speed and we will speak about that more because that speed is the coolest feature. Operating system is Ubuntu and it comes pre-installed with LibreOffice Suite which means you can access presentations, spreadsheets and Word documents but there is no Microsoft Suite application fully. Currently you can access cloud-based Microsoft apps through the browser itself. Speaking of browsers, there is nothing which is not on offer here. It comes pre-installed with Firefox, Google Chrome, and for your AI needs, there is ChatGPT and Gemini pre-installed. Because it is Ubuntu, the navigation across the OS will feel very intuitive. There are tons of educational apps pre-installed, including Khan Academy, which clearly means one large user set for this virtual machine will be students. There are tons of other applications which I felt were unnecessary. But let me now show you the crown jewel of this offering. Yes, that is the internet speed which it offers. Amazing, isn't it? 800 Mbps download and over 500 Mbps upload. For the ones who are confused, let me clarify this. Your local internet speed wouldn't really matter. When I say it wouldn't matter, it means 20 to 30 Mbps should ideally be good to access this virtual system. But this virtual machine is sitting in the server room. It has a fat pipe to the entire internet line from there. Hence, any cloud-based applications will severely benefit for something like this. For instance, anyone using Canva or Figma kind of applications in the cloud can immensely benefit from this particular speed. Any SaaS applications which are directly in the cloud, again, will see this as a boon. Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive will benefit from faster uploads and downloads of these large files. The communication page that come in does say that the external peripherals like camera, printers, etc. are currently blocked, but these will be enabled in the future. One important question to answer, do you need a constant internet connection? Well, absolutely yes. GeoCloud PC streams your virtual desktop over the internet. So if your internet connection drops, you won't be able to access it. Your work will stay safe in the cloud, ready for you to pick up where you left off. I did experience some weird things when it came to trying out to play a YouTube video inside this virtual machine through the browser. It threw me out to the YouTube app of my TV OS and then I had to manually go back into the GeoCloud PC application back and then I tried it again and it threw me out again. So something about that didn't really fit well with me. As this is Ubuntu, sometimes you may face challenges in installing applications which might not be compatible. For example, I tried Filmora which is a video editing app but it wasn't compatible so I couldn't install it. There's also an app store like environment called Software, very unique and most of it is still getting built so we don't get to see the full view of it. So the million dollar question, what is the cost? Currently, we don't know because it is only accessible right now for the Reliance family members on a trial. But you can check out my Windows 365 application video over here. That should give you an indication of the pricing and knowing Geo and the offering without Microsoft Office integration, it does seem it will be way, way lesser than what Microsoft was charging for a similar model. Also, it's very well possible that if Geo is following the Windows model, then this will come in multiple configurations in the cloud, which means for a higher price, you might be able to access an 8-core CPU as well with higher RAM and better memory. So in a nutshell, Geo PC is democratizing computing, making it accessible, hopefully very affordable and downright easy. 
It's perfect for students, cloud services based professionals, small businesses or anyone looking to get the most out of their current TV. Well, currently TV, I hope it is more in the future. I don't see any reason why there won't be a Windows or an Android app for the same in future. It is only reasonable to think like that. Hit me in the comments and let me know what all do you want to see from the next video on this particular topic. I will do my best to research on all that you ask. I know this was brief, but hey, that's a full OS. Quite difficult to fully review. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with someone who can also post an interesting question to research on this particular topic so that the next video on GeoCloud PC uh, will be more insightful. Hit that bell icon for the notification and I will see you in the next one.